Hey guys, Steve Welch, Beeman Toyota in downtown Nashville. I am uh, looking here now. This is your Toyota trim level series, your TTLS. And once again, I am master certified in everything Toyota. I am a uh, sales society winner with Toyota, a product specialist here and trainer, and also a mentor. So I definitely know my product. Um, what we're looking at here is the LE Camry Hybrid. Um, one of the main reasons I want to show you the difference between the hybrid is that there are differences between the LE hybrid and the LE non-hybrid in even the way that it looks and some of the options that it has on it. So um, the LE hybrid is different. So if you're looking for an LE, look for my LE video. Uh, but if you're looking for an LE hybrid, this is your hybrid video. So first off, all of the Toyotas that are hybrids definitely have that blue around the emblem there that is an easy easy way to find out which one you're looking at you have your 2.5 liter four-cylinder engine here paired with your hybrid synergy drive of course um, so you have a net horsepower of 208 horsepower on this particular vehicle so um, uh, you uh, if you see here you can tell one thing that's different between the le and the le hybrid is a hub cap you have a steel wheel, 16 inch steel wheel with a hubcap on it. Um, I believe that's to lighten the weight a little bit, um, help get you a little bit better gas mileage, but the uh, LE in the non-hybrid does have an alloy wheel, but this is your wheel on your hybrid. Um, it looks actually very similar to the LE wheel, but it's uh, uh, when it comes to the non-hybrid, but that one obviously has a hubcap. You can also tell your hybrid by the sign on the side there, of course. Um, so just kind of walking around giving you a look here you can kind of see you'll have your le hybrid on the back here anytime toyota puts the symbol on the back it's going to be at least uh that that trim level of course uh the l does not have a symbol on the back so the most basic level does not have that that symbol on the back there so you have a button that is right here that you can open your trunk with so kind of showing you here this is your trunk uh they made this opening bigger uh as of the 18 model year um and just so you know i'm looking at a 20 here but the 20s the 19s and the 18s are all going to apply to what i'm telling you here with a couple of exceptions on the electronics and i'll and i'll go over those when i get there so um all weather mat is in this particular one that is an option of course um just depending on what you have and i'll also show you you do have here there's a spare tire below that so you have a spare tire it is not some kind of a weird kit you also have the ability right here to pull and lay down the seats all right what you'll notice also in here is that the previous generation the RAV4 or it's RAV4 I stand corrected the Camry hybrids the battery was so tall that it actually came up and really dramatically lessened the amount of trunk space that you had. This is the exact same trunk space as the non-hybrid. So it does not matter that you're looking at the hybrid um, for trunk space. So if you say, I can't get a hybrid because I need the extra room in the trunk, uh, yes, you can. You can now get this hybrid and it is exactly um, what you want. Also, no more, you can tell there's no rattle, no more of those crossbars, those annoying crossbars that rattle over time in the trunk that give you a lot of that extra noise. One of the reasons the Toyota is the quietest out there. So I also want to mention that uh, they are built in Georgetown, Kentucky. Give a shout out to our Georgetown, Kentucky people. Um, but it is the number one American made car on the market, of course. Um, so it is American made. It's been the number one selling sedan for about 18 years. Um, in, uh, in its uh, class here. So I um, wanted to show you something else that you'll notice. This is the best fuel economy you'll get in the uh, Camry lineup. 52 combined, 51 city, 53 highway. Um, reason that I say that is that if you go to the next level up in the hybrids, you're gonna be, uh, I believe it's 49 combined. So you actually don't quite get to those 50s, but these are definitely Prius numbers. They've done some things to make it a little bit lighter to try to, uh, um, get the extra fuel economy and uh, I've had some people tell me they're even getting better than what the sticker said so um, that's good to know too this is the um, actually it's called galactic aqua is the color um, it's actually one of my favorite colors so I just wanted to point that out so um, I just grabbed this handle here you have your smart key system on both both sides that is on your uh, hybrid so that is really good to know you also have the ability on your hybrid to move the seat up so by up, I mean that you can actually raise it to a higher level. 
you can obviously move it on the track just like you're used to and then front and back but the ability to move that seat up can definitely make it for a more comfortable drive for somebody um, who doesn't like their head hitting the ceiling and a lot of those cars really don't give the passenger the ability to um, to change that so now this is black interior obviously it's not solid black but this is what black is if you have gray it's a little lighter macadamia is even lighter than that you also would change the dash here uh, based off of which color you choose so um, definitely want you to know that I'm going to shut this here I'm going to show you the back seat here um, you can see that you definitely have a lot of room in the back seat keep in mind both those front seats are pushed about all the way back um, so that tells you that you definitely have a lot of room for there um, you'll notice there are no vents there's a little uh, hole there where you can put stuff but there are no vents in the back of the uh, le camry there are some vents on the floor but there are no vents for your face in the le do want to show you this so if you are a family person looking to put a car seat in very very easy put this car seat in because now you can just have that where you attach your car seat so your tie down points are really really easy to get a hold of and really easy to take in and take out when it comes to that car seat also you'll notice too you have a center console um, that'll come down and help with those beverages that you like to have in the back. Try to keep the car a little bit clean by not spilling the beverages. Also have bottle holders in the doors, front and back. So those will keep you just a little bit cleaner as well, hopefully. Um, also notice something pre uh, that's different from the prior generation, where the words Camry are um, on the center there. And the way that it looks in the back is definitely a little bit different um, than what it was. So, and the sleek lines, of course, are awesome 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 so i uh, will show you here um, no sunroof on this model so i'm gonna get in here and i'm gonna kind of you'll see always a push to start when it comes to the camry on this um, so that's something that you would know automatic headlights even on your le so that's also like i said good to know as well you have uh usb right here that'll come into play here in just a minute um, a little cubby hole that's down here for you um, this is the Intune uh, audio system. This is the most base level audio system. There are three levels of audio systems in the Camry. Um, the top two have CD players. That's one of the easiest way to tell. Um, but the, uh, the bottom one does not have a CD player. So if you have the Intune Audio Plus or the Intune Audio Premium, you will have a CD player. The Premium will come with integrated maps, uh, whereas everything else, you'll either use your CarPlay, Android Auto, or uh, Scout GPS link to get any type of navigation. But you do have navigation on every one of them, just depending on how you want to get it. So I'm going to show you a couple other things here. So we have a regular mirror, not self-dimming. You have your, um, and I said not self-dimming, by the way. Um, you have your SOS button right there. That's free for the first year. After that, it is uh, $80 a year or $8 a month. Um, that right there, it goes to the Toyota call center. You can ask for help, police fire. Or you can just say, hey, I've got a flat tire. I need you to come change it. Roadside assistance is included for the first two years at no additional cost from Toyota. Also, your first two years of maintenance are included. Uh, that is nationwide in the lower 48 also no cost to you as and so basically if some dealerships telling you hey we'll include that oh, that's from toyota it's not from them so uh, just so you know that is a little bit different so um i want to show you uh, a couple other things here so all of your safety sensor steering wheel from the prior generation this is smaller than what it was um it's about one inch smaller it gives you a little bit of bill more ability to control it also increases your leg room headroom um things along those lines to make you a little bit better i do want to mention too that this is a power driver's seat um so the uh, seat that i'm sitting in it has your up down front back uh and then also your back will uh um, go back and then you also have your lumbar on the seat here so that is standard in the le um, so if you're looking for an le camera you know that that is standard so i'm going to show you something that is different on and, and let me back up real quick before i do that um, talking about the radio here you have in the 2020 version which is the 2020 you have apple carplay android auto and alexa capabilities now if you back up to the 19 you have only um you have only the apple carplay you do not have the uh, uh the um uh, android auto if you back up to the 18 from the factory you don't have apple carplay or android auto so every year they added something when it came to the radio system so if you have an 18 you're not going to have apple carplay or android auto but there's a caveat to that they did add um, Apple CarPlay as a patch. So your dealer 
can actually take you in and can actually add Apple CarPlay to a 2018. So if you have a 2018 Camry uh, or you're thinking about buying one on the used market, you can possibly have CarPlay already. Um, if not, especially if you're buying it from a dealer, uh, talk to them about adding that. So uh, that could be a pretty good option for you. So, um, and, and I will also say the reason that USB comes into play is that if you're using Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, it does have to be plugged into that USB port. So um, that is very important that you do that. I'll show you here, you have two additional ports that are in your uh, center console here. Um, so those additional ports, I've had people call before saying my CarPlay won't work. It's because you plugged them into that port. That is the wrong port to plug them into if you are looking for CarPlay or uh, Android Auto to work. They won't work from that particular port. So um, now what I'm going to show you down here, you can definitely see you have your Eco, your Normal, and your Sport modes. Um, this right here on your standard LE, this all of this is gone. So you don't have this on the standard LE, but on your hybrid you do. So Eco Normal Sport modes, electric vehicle mode is right here. This is brake hold. This is one of my favorite things. So um, brake hold will actually hold your brake while you're at a stoplight. I've got another video that kind of shows you how it works. I'm going to post that uh, along with uh, this video here and I'll get that updated shortly. Um, you also have a uh, automatic parking brake it's an electronic parking brake that will set itself so um, all your Toyota safety sense of course is on here um, like I've said before I will go ahead and post that in the description as well so you can find out a little bit more about safety sense uh, safety sense is an amazing system and I don't think there's anything on the market that beats it for uh, ability to use it or what it does for you so um, kind of taking a look at your dash your dash is different than the standard LE if you look on the left side there you'll notice it has your charge your eco your power is just kind of like a scorecard letting you know how you're driving what the car is doing while it's doing it so um, like I said just kind of giving you that so um, we'll mention too on your radio here that it is a seven inch touch screen you have six speakers with it all of your hands-free Bluetooth you can do all of that of course so um, also has Sirius satellite radio that is a standard item on all of your Camrys now so um, that is from the 20 all the way up I believe it was an option in the 18 that was not on the LE so um, definitely uh, make sure on that for me but uh, I believe that's what it was also something you get in your um, LE that you don't get in the LE uh, non-hybrid is your dual climate control so you have your automatic here and you have dual climate control. So both sides are your climate control. So, um, and then you could always do this and sync both sides. So you have uh, the ability to get both people cool, both people hot, or uh, some way to uh, split the two. This right here, it will sense butts in the seat and try to uh, make the air conditioner a little bit more efficient, try to get you a little bit more uh, fuel economy by not using electricity for people that are not in your car. So that is awesome thing to do. Um, so uh, definitely, a, a, a you know, like I said, really awesome to do. So um, looking here, you also have intermittent wipers. So I'll show you that. Uh, LED lights for your... Uh, personal lights here your map lights um, you also have mirrors obviously on both sides um, so just kind of kind of taking a look around you can kind of take it all in here um, this is the 2020 hybrid le camry hybrid le sedan here so um just kind of like i said just giving you a quick overview here um, as part of your toyota trim level series um, your ttls that is uh and this is Steve Welch, of course, Master Certified with Toyota in uh, downtown Nashville here with Beeman Toyota. So your Toyota trim level series. Hope I'm helping you guys out here to find the right vehicle or the right Camry in this case for your family and your needs. So definitely hope you guys take care. I am uh, I'm going to be posting more videos coming up. So I appreciate all of you that subscribe and definitely like my videos. Uh, hope you guys take care. We will talk to you soon. Toyota trim level series, Steve Welch.